Flavor Flav knows what time it is, at least what time it is for Flavor Flav. Even with all his moving and accelerating with the planet, the solar system, getting on planes, taking elevators, and perhaps even some light jogging. In the immortal words of Cool Modi, do you know what time it is? Didn't Einstein tell us it's all relative? Does anyone actually know what time it is? I mean, aside from figuratively, or in a political sense, or perhaps as part of a rap performance from whence the power is being fought from, requiring the six skills of a hype man wearing a clock around his neck on a big chain. So after all my fancy dancing and longing for a time in rap and hip hop from days gone by, I must present to you, faithful audience member, an answer in the form of your three least favorite words I get to deliver. It all depends. You may have heard that everything is relative. Usually we hear it from people who like to talk about connections on many different levels, which is just nonsense. But in physics, everything is relative in a very particular way. Everything is relative to the speed of light, which is the same in every reference frame, which is confusing and repeated enough times that it can become meaningless. So I'm going to do my best to explain it. So if I shine a flashlight in front of me, I'll measure the beam to travel at about 300,000 kilometers per second, which is known as the speed of light. And if you're moving at 200,000 kilometers per second faster than me and shine a flashlight ahead of you, I will see the light from your flashlight moving at 300,000 kilometers per second. It'll appear to me as though the light from your flashlight is moving away from you at 100,000 kilometers per second. But when you measure the speed of that light relative to you, you'd think it'd be moving at 100,000 kilometers per second as well. But instead, from your perspective, it will also clock in at 300,000 kilometers per second, the speed of light. So how is this even possible? It's possible in part because the rate at which you experience time relative to me changes. For you, time will seem normal. But from my perspective, your time will seem slower. Now we agree on how fast light is moving in kilometers per second, but we disagree on how long a second is. We also, by the way, disagree on the length of a meter. This seems strange because we imagine space and time are absolute things and that light is something that travels through space. This is our experience. Suggesting things like time and space are malleable values at best is unsettling and at worst will make us nanners from thinking about it too much. Well, hold on to your tinfoil hats for it is in fact light that is the absolute and space and time are relative to it. So what time it is depends on your vantage point and so there is no single absolute time. Finally, because of relativity, each point in the universe experienced time at a slightly different rate. For example, when we observe the cosmic microwave background, we find that we are moving at a speed of about 630 kilometers per second relative to the background. That means we experience time a little more slowly than something at rest relative to the cosmic background. It's just a tiny bit slower. But added over the entire age of the universe, our cosmic clock is 30,000 years behind the times. Feel free to set your watch, but don't get too precise about it. Your time could be off by tens of thousands of years. So what about you? What's your favorite way to explain special relativity to someone? Tell us in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Never miss an episode by clicking subscribe. And we can do this without the members of our Patreon community. People like Christian Zuppinger and the many others who help us create and deliver great space and astronomy content. If you'd like to join our community, which gets you advanced access to episodes as well as extras and behind the scenes content, click here and head on over to Patreon. Flavor Flav knows what time it is. Is that what I, I have to go? All right, all right. Flavor Flav totally knows what time it is. Yeah. <laughs>